What's up YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from a beautiful Phoenix, Arizona on this Monday, September 25th, 2017. Hope everybody had a great weekend. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by, joining us here today. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It helps us grow this channel to reach other questers just like yourself. And uh, if we hit 300, or when we hit 300 subscribers, which we're well on our way, I will be giving away a $25 gift card and a uh, random giveaway. And if we hit that 300 subscriber deadline by the end of this year, December 31st, 2017, I will double up on that gift card, making it a $50 prize. I uh, want to give a quick shout out to Hertz Donuts, hence the shirt. And uh, I have had to be uh, a little personal note, uh, gluten free um, starting earlier this year, had a really bad um, reaction and ended up in the hospital, which some of you know and some of you don't. Um, so uh, Hertz Donuts this morning made gluten free donuts and I was able to have a donut for the first time in many, many months. And it was the most dang delicious thing. I cannot tell you. Uh, it was amazing. So Hertz Donuts, uh, thank you so much for making gluten-free donut and uh, bringing a little sunshine into my life on Monday morning. Uh, very much appreciated. And if you live in the Phoenix area, uh, Tempe Hertz Donuts, check them out. Um, they're awesome. They have some really good, good donuts other than gluten-free as well. So uh, definitely support them and uh, stop by and say hi. Uh, so today you can see I'm logging in uh, to the game for the first time, uh, picking up some rewards and stuff. Everything's brand new. Uh, so today is a Crash of the Titans reset, and this is the first chance we've had to take a look at it. And I'm already extra excited because in the top left corner here you can see um, totally awesome. Cho Hulk is the uh, required character for the Crash of the Titans, as he is uh, here in the Heroes for Hire store with his black cover and eight elite tokens, 10,000 purple ISO, and three command points for the bundle package of 3,600. Also in the Taco Vault, another black cover opportunity, uh, one out of 300, so um, you can use your tokens to try to get that, or uh, this legendary token, there's a four-star Iron Fist, and then this also reveals the required heroes for uh, and the big enchilada rewards for Deadpool's Crash of the Titans for the next five days. Uh, Punisher, Blade, Patch, Human Torch, and Colossus. So if you're looking for any of those covers, this is a good week to do Crash of the Titans and get, uh, or not, well, yes, do Crash of the Titans, but also do the Big Enchilada and get those rewards to boost up those five characters. So who the opponent is is yet to be determined, as we will find out shortly here. Uh, oh, that's Behemoth Burrito. This bottom right hand uh, four star circle that says extreme is Crash the Titans and it is Beast. So Beast is a three star character. He's overpowered to 270. Normally a three star will max out at 266. Um, their rewards for this is 22,000 taco points and a normal legendary uh, latest uh, leg lay blah, blah, latest legendary recruit token. It is not the cosmic token that was last week's uh, special event token. So um, things are back to normal as they were, and let's get into it. So my Totally Awesome Hulk is championed with a couple extra levels, so he's at 274 um, health-wise, uh, almost to 19... Uh, 1000 18 8 11. He's at a 553 build, which I really enjoy using this particular build. His uh, green ability, Mastermind Exolo, uh, 13 green AP, deals 5236 in damage, uh, destroys a 3x3 three three block of tiles. If you have at least 12 blue AP, adds an extra 4058, which is uh, 9300 or so damage. Um, pretty impressive, and you still get uh, the 3x3 three three block of the selected tiles destroyed. Um, other, otherwise, if you don't have 12, blue AP is going to destroy 7 random basic tiles that don't deal damage or generate AP, um, but obviously holding on to that till the blue AP is built up is going to get you much more bang for your buck. 
Uh, blue uh, passive ability here, see the math of it. This is uh, a countdown tile, three turn countdown tile that deals 1880 in damage and converts four random basic tiles to green, which then again fuels uh, back the other ability, helps that build up faster, and deals passive damage at the end of the countdown. Hot Dog Stand, seven black AP cost is going to heal uh, for a small amount at level three, 719 health. Um, and converts up to four blue or green basic tiles to charge. Charge tiles uh, generate three times the normal AP, of course, as a normal basic tile. At max level, if this was at level five, it would be a heal for 941 and convert six tiles to charge, either blue or green. Uh, Cho Hulk is affiliated with Heroes and Team Iron Man for any of those abilities that are uh, dependent upon those affiliations. And... Let's take a look at Beast quickly here. He's a blue, green, and yellow. Of course, blue and green overlap, so we don't want to let him get those if at all possible. Yellow is his heal ability, so it can be annoying. Um, but of course, black being the differentiating color between the two of them. Uh, Mutagenic Breakthrough for six blue AP creates a two-turn blue countdown tile that converts two random blue basic tiles, say that five times fast, into strength 201 strike, protect, or attack tiles. Uh, this one's kind of similar to Jean Grey's green ability where she creates those random uh, friendly tiles. Of course, this is going to be specific to blue tiles, though. So if we can limit the amount of blue tiles on the board, this ability is going to have a little bit less impact. Animal Inside for 9 green AP deals 966 damage to all enemies. And if there's a friendly blue special tile on the board, that includes countdown tiles, um, is going to uh, smash... Uh, everything in the lab, destroying six random tiles and deal 129 damage to all enemies, but not generating AP. Uh, all right, Medical Marvel for yellow AP, uh, 11 yellow AP is going to give a burst of 1,511 health to all allies. It's a 1v1 fight, so a lot of that doesn't matter for anybody else. Um, uh, if there is a blue special tile on the board, provides a gadget to aid them, uh, creating one blue tile into a strength 65 protectile. So, um, kind of a battle of the the smarts and the brains and brawn as a uh, beast, Hank McCoy and uh, Amadeus Cho, both very uh, brilliant, uh, you know, science people transformed uh, through mutations, and here they are fighting each other. So, um, kind of a a fun matchup in that regard. Let's see who comes out victorious um let's see no good matches um well i'll take the screen one here i guess that counts as a good match and we'll go green here try to keep that blue countdown tile alive but i'm pretty sure he's gonna match it away right here like so all right, we want black. We'll get some bonus damage, a little bit off purple. Red's not a particular uh, empowered color of his, so uh, not a big threat there. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll go for some team-up tile action. Okay. Do-do-do. Thanks for getting rid of your own special tile there, buddy. All right, now we start seeing a lot more green on the board. Uh, green can be helpful to him as well, so we got to keep an eye on that. So he's lured into a purple match. We get the blue and the green together, some team up. That's a pretty strong protect tile because we're not getting a whole lot of damage in on him, but. That's okay. Good. So I was afraid he was going to match away our countdown tile, um, but he did not. So he takes some damage there, a little bit extra, and how are we looking? Uh, not a lot of blue. That's okay. All right, 
just stick to greens. And black. And what do we got here? And we're at 13 apiece. We got 24, so we can actually just use this twice without even being powered up. And still take him out. And good, he got rid of his own protectile which helps me tremendously um, this deals uh, base damage of 5236 without being powered up by the extra blues uh, double that is what 10 4 and we don't have the extra blue but we can use this anyways and overshadow his HP currently so there goes that and here it comes we'll just pick a spot randomly bada bing bada boom down he goes. So Chul Hulk, uh, solid victory there. Got a legendary recruit token, all those daily re completion bonus rewards for Deadpool's daily quest. And thanks Alliance mates for playing, getting a little bonus there. Got a heroic recruit token. Three more days till the Drax cover. And then six more days to another legendary recruit token, um, which should be on the day of the next reset for Crash the Titans. So we'll get two tokens that day uh, for being awesome. So very good there. We'll go to the store, recruit heroes, and head on back over this away. Ooh, best friends. I guess I have some extras. Anything good? No. Nope, that's okay. Uh, classic Legends and Latest Legends. So Latest Legends, uh, you have a chance at any of your bonus heroes at a 4 or 5 star level. These are all the ones I have picked. It's a 1 in 20 draw rate for those, uh, which is about 1 in 5. And, uh, or no wait, 5%. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, the last 5 or the last three five stars, Daredevil, Octopus, Dr. Octopus, and Spider-Man, being a one in seven draw rate. All the four stars are now available, as they have been since one of the recent updates, but the last 12 have three times higher odds. So I'm still looking for a Mockingbird cover. Um, anything, uh, I certainly need the blue Yondu cover. Um, pretty much anything in here except Coulson I'd be happy with, or Mordo. No more Mordo. Got Mordo last time. Um, so here we go. Do to do, do, five star. Please be Daredevil. Please be Daredevil. Spider Man. I'm okay with Spider Man. I need this one, so I'm not upset. But I was hoping to get that Daredevil and boost my roster one more slot. Um, so come back down this way. And Spider Man, we're going to add in right here. So that brings Webshot up to level one. For 7 red AP deals 2,027 damage, and if there are 3 or more web tiles, converts 1 to a critical tile. If there are 5 or more web tiles, converts 2 to critical tiles. Passively, at the start of the turn, if there are fewer than 2 web tiles, create 1. At higher levels, uh, this scales obviously the damage, and then at level 4, creates 2 web tiles, and at level 5, obviously, much more damage per hit. So... Uh, he is at a 1-1 one, one, and 1 build, so I can at least use each ability, um, even if it's not to full capacity. He's uh, 3 of 13 covers. So thank you guys so much for this uh, support and watching Crash of the Titans video. I hope that it certainly helps you guys to achieve uh, your Crash of the Titans during this cycle. As you can see, uh, even a lower build of Cho Hulk should be able to uh, get the job done. Beast does not have strong abilities. His heal is pretty significant at 1500 uh, compared to his overall health, um, but the amount of damage that he puts out and those um, defense tiles really are the only things going to get in your way. Although it is a random generated tile, it may not be uh, 
you know, for you, you could get three defense tiles, you could get no defense tiles. Um, I think that was one of the biggest things that slowed me up, and uh, hopefully you guys are successful as well. If you do get that legendary token and you pull an awesome reward, let me know down in the comment section below. You guys can follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Link is uh, in the description below, as always, right at the top there, Mr. MPQ. And you can subscribe to this channel if you uh, enjoy what you see, you want to see more of it. And uh, once you click that subscribe button, there's a little notification bell. You can click that right next to the subscribe button to be part of the notification squad for instant YouTube updates when videos are posted. And until next time, as always, this has been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, as a special little hashtag made it to the end for you guys that stuck around, um, why don't we talk about your favorite flavor of donut? Let me know in the comments below. Have a great week, everybody. Happy Monday, and signing off.